Kenya Power mentors future engineers. High school students passionate about a future career in engineering had first-hand experience from seasoned Kenya Power engineers. We are going to visit a typical substation and learn a few equipment and what uh, goes on in the station. This is the outdoor substation where we have a transmission line coming in. The transmission voltages are usually 220, 132 and in Nairobi we have 66 kV which is used as a sub transmission because some customers are supplied at 66 kV. But in this particular station which is a secondary substation we have the 66 kV uh, voltage stepped down to 11 kV which is used for distribution around Nairobi. But there are VTs we have circuit breakers, we have CTs, surge arresters, we have disconnectors on both the incoming side and on the HV uh, transformer side. And then right here we have a power transformer. The power transformer steps down from 66 to 11 kV. This is a 23 MVA transformer. On the LV side, after it has been stepped down, it goes in to the indoor substation where distribution is done. As a company, we have noticed that the number of engineers do not meet the threshold that is commonly spoken of in so many sectors. Currently, we have uh, about 76 engineers who are female and about 633 who are uh, male engineers. That constitutes about 10% of the engineers in the company are female. And so Kenya Power, in association with ACAD, decided to come up with a mentorship program that would encourage female students to take up engineering as a course and also absorb them into the company. And this is commonly seen. Uh, last year, 101 trainee engineers were absorbed. And of the 101, 18 were ladies. This year, Kenya Power is absorbing another bunch of engineers and we have uh, about 30 who are ladies out of 126. So you can see Kenya Power is trying to increase the number of lady engineers. Currently we are in Nairobi, but we are looking at broadcasting this to the rest of the country, so that we can be able to have children irrespective of their backgrounds, because we know that to bring up an engineer, it is very costly because the processes involved, even engineering courses, are fairly expensive. And so, in this mentorship program, Kenya Power is seeking to first begin by identifying students who can uh, get into the mentorship program. After identifying the students, Kenya Power, through mentorship seminars and such, will uh, bring all these students into view of what we are planning and what engineering entails. So we'll have to get a few professionals here and there to speak to the students. Then from that point, we'll go through a selection criteria. We have what is needed, and they'll do things like maybe say writing, we check what are their interests and such. And then after the selection, Kenya Power has a broad program. That's why we even had to partner with ACAD, because in the entire program, we are seeking to have a situation whereby once the students have been pre-selected, these students can have a source of apprentice. So we are planning a situation whereby like, the best student can have the CEO as his apprentice. And then uh, we apprentice these engineers. If the students go successfully through the process, Kenya Power will be offering internship opportunities for the students. And uh, we are also seeking to have a, like a pipeline that will uh, a constant supply of engineers into the company. My parting shot to parents and the viewers will be that this is possible. We are seeking to have a situation whereby all counties, all Kenyans can have an equal opportunity of getting into the engineering field. And as we always say, the slogan of the company, Kenyans supply the energy, we supply the power. So we need students out there who have a passion in engineering or who just 
want to do something. Supply us with the energy, Kenya Power will empower you to go and serve the nation. In charge of uh, meter testing and quality control. Uh, maybe I will just welcome you in to show you what goes in, in here. This is the meter laboratory. We do a number of things here. We test meters to confirm or to ascertain that they meet the standards. ACAD is a mentorship and leadership organization founded in 2008. We are under the umbrella of ACAD Education Group, the worldwide group based in Asia, but we are the ACAD Africa module. I'm here as a student and I'm here also as a mentor and um, I'm blessed to have the privilege of adding value to the youth who've attended our seminar today. The theme of the forum is mentoring future engineers, uh, Kenya Power partnering with ACAD Africa. And me being an engineer student, uh, it's a particular pleasure for me because I share this passion in innovation and just adding value through providing solutions to real life uh, problems. So my expectation is just to be able to impact uh, a life and you know, be able to add value to a student's social, professional and um, academic life. Well, what I'd like to tell the future engineers is that go for what you want, you know. Uh, go for that which pleases your heart and be as good at it as you can be. Because in as much as you're enjoying it as a career, remember you're also given the opportunity to change the world and make it better or make it worse. So as an engineering student, just go for it. And my takes on the forum, I think it's been brilliant. The turnout has been really amazing. So I'm really glad that people have seen the value in what ACAD Africa is doing and we thank our, our partners, uh, Kenya Power. And yeah, let's be the future engineers. I joined ACAD because, in my opinion, it's a networking organization that literally just, it strives to build students, it builds young people. Let's say you're still finding your way. And once you join ACA, they expose you to this whole new lifestyle, this whole new way of thinking and a way of living that honestly, it opens your mind up and opens you up as a person to a whole new environment and a whole new network that you never even thought you could be part of. If a young uh, person wants to join ACAD, it's important for them to get in touch with us um, through info at acadeducationafrica.com. Send an email to us, um, inform us of your interest to join the organization, and we get back to you as soon as possible and inform you on the way forward. My expectations from the Kenya Power Forum today is that we will be able to inspire at least one student to want to become an engineer, and not just any engineer, but an engineer that will actually change the country. You can tell that, you know, normally we import a lot of skill into the country, and right now it's important for us to start honing our own, you know, start taking care of our own homegrown talent and start building that. And I think such a forum, the Kenya Power Forum in itself, would do an incredible job building that interest in students to pursue engineering. My advice to girls who want to pursue engineering in the future is that they can do it and nobody should ever tell them that they can't because the market is yearning for them. Engineering is not difficult. Engineering is simply an art. It was not made for men. It was not made for boys. It was made for everyone. Engineering is something that any girl can take up. Girls have taken it up and that is one thing that this forum shows because we have a lot of female engineers here. Girls have taken it up, they have tackled it and they have graduated with first class honors. How do you know if you're dealing with a genuine Kenya Power worker or 
a fraudster. Jua for sure with 9551. First, ensure that the person you see in front of you is the same person whose photo appears on the staff ID tag. Then, send an SMS with their staff number to 9551. You will quickly receive a confirmation message. Don't be conned. Jua for sure with 9551. Report fraudsters immediately to this number.